Cool. And Mirari is also a hair model for Isuba, together with Alesh. There are two, like, going to, in, in Czech Republic, they're going modeling with their hair everywhere. Really? Yeah, I'm no, not joking. Just that, that's a, that's a real-life fact, too. You're, you're trolling. As I am a hand model, too, oh, for, okay. for Douglas. Yeah. Sometimes Scro when I'm when screw I'm screw you, Mats. Okay. I was lying to you. Let's start the game. We got for Faramir a rogue again versus a druid. So this looks like <laughs> we we could say we maybe started the wrong fights here, but it's actually the same matchup. It's druid versus rogue again, and if it goes like the first game, Faramir should win here. Two zero. Two zero. Oh, well, we'll see if it's actually the same same version, because. It's more mid rangey already with the Argent Commander for Mirari. No, no, I wasn't talking about oh, Mirari. I was talking about Fra Faramir because he, uh, Via played the Acolyte version, and they are from the same team. So it's not unlikely that they actually, yeah, run Acolytes because y they talk with each other. You know, teammates. That's Teammate. what teammates do. That's what teammates do. Well, let, let's see what, what Farmy has prepared here. So he's a rather good hand, actually prepared. Um, but Mirari, for Mirari, it's looking... Well, he has a, he had a Relic Rose. He has a Face Manipulator and always a, already Argent Commander plus Swipe roaming around. That looks like extremely good. But for Faramir, he has his Claws full of everything. He can just go... Well, Auctioneer... On turn five, coin, stuff, go crazy. Yes, Van Cleef also. Really nice and potent hand going on here for him. I'm if I if I see the hands at the moment. I say Faramir wins. Yeah, I'm I'm rooting for Faramir <laughs> with that hand. It's quite it's quite crazy what he's holding. But well, he's getting the Taunters Mirari. That's extremely important. If it wow. Well, it's, it's not surprising. You don't want to go Taunter if he saps your minion. But if he... Well, he had backstab Eviscerate anyways, so it doesn't matter. He, well, he, he would have killed your minion. He would have at least forced something. Well, he would have at least forced something, but that now... That way he can just go backstab SI7 and kill it off. Correct. Like, y you, you dealt your 4 damage, but if he needs to use an Eviscerate and, like, an Eviscerate to kill your Taunt, first of all, that's, that's 2 mana, which is nice. Second of all, that's four damage. You take less. It's, it looks like a f via play too. So he went coin, eviscerate plus Van Cleef, and it's a six-six Van Cleef. So no big game hunter. Well, no Argent commander can kill it. That's kind of annoying. This is super stupid, and you can't. You cannot go face this manipulator. So if you face this manipulator, he just got his sap top deck. Yeah, yeah it would have just gotten sap. That's that's super crazy. But, well, anyways, now as I seven agent plus backstab. So, wow, far far from his hand is just going crazy here, and there's not a lot Mirari can do here against them. We we, we got to swipe. So, uh, well, swipe. It's well, um, absolutely useless now. You could kill a three three with it. Great. <laughs> Great. Five, five survives. <laughs> well, maybe the best thing is just to oh. get Ragnaros. I was cross your fingers. Oh, like, no. oh my, oh oh my god. Please, please hit Van Cleave. Not as I. Ooh, yes! That, nice. that, that, were, you. that were good. So, he that's the first good that move. Shit. The main problem still is he could even kill it if he wants to. With uh, Fan of Knives, Coplot, that uh, would just die. And he even gets a conceal for next turn. So he might consider just getting it killed. <laughs> okay. Well, he d he didn't need to. He could have used his co blood and just keep the eviscerate. They they do equal damage, and just face tank eight damage. That that would. Uh, well, he didn't even well, need to face it. The problem is if. Nah, never mind. Well, it's one mana. Yeah, he he could die to the Ragnaros, you know. Then Ragnaros would still be alive. And no, would, would have died. You would have been on seven damage exactly after the Fan of Knives plus Cold Blood. And the only thing why you don't play your Cold Blood, you can play Cold Blood Conceal now to draw two cards. And with an Eviscerate, you couldn't have done it. So that's a good reason to have done it this way around. Or he's he's not even going for it. Uh, he's sipping. Well, it could be annoying the swipe in theory, but as we know. There will bust. J there will just be another auctioneer coming. Ooh. But the good thing for Mirari is right. just faceless manipulator swipe. That's working perfect. Also gets a rest. Yeah. Now, now Farami actually needs another. Whoa, another step. 
another eviscerate. He did use two, if I'm correct. So two are gone. There's not even the potential of an eviscerate. He's not getting it dead at the moment. But preparation, that's a good thing. Well. But that's not well, a good thing. <laughs> so gonna help. Well, co Cobla, just draw another card. The only uh, bad thing is you could have played your Selness. See, that's a different version. Well, it's we loot order. Well, you haven't seen the loot order from Via. It might still be in there. Very, very unlikely. Very, very unlikely, but we haven't seen every card. Wow, that's it's super cool. Mark of the Wild, draw another card. With Raz, draw two cards. So he can draw so many cards now and get two Tontos out, actually. So maybe play your Druid of the Claw plus your Mark of the Wild. And you, you get two taunters out. I wouldn't... You wouldn't You wouldn't play Druid of the Claw? No, I would play Druid of the Claw, but I wouldn't, <laughs> like, uh, go for... Uh, would I go for double taunt? It's tough. Well, no, well now, just may maybe go Black Knight and double taunt. E even, if he, even if he saps one, you still yeah. have the other one. Uh, he wants to draw so many cards. That that's, that's desperate and risky. Well... Now oh, he now he, he perfect. Harvest, harvest Golem plus Arg so, so there's some place he could pull off. And the really nice thing is, if he wants to, uh, he could deal actually a lot of damage. So if he charges that minion up and plays a Roar, that would be 10 plus 6. That would be only 16 damage. Sadly, not enough. But still, some crazy amount of damage. 16? Uh, 14, yeah. right? No, you count the two damage from your hero. It's four plus six for every character plus two with a roar. Yeah, I know. It's yeah, two six plus four plus six. Where do you get the other six from? Yeah, from Savage Roar. Ah, uh, you wanted to play the yeah the Druid. Oh, okay, yeah. I was considering swipe. So, how is it looking for farm? Well, there's a sap. This is ridiculous. Just just going to throw it out. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Whatever he's redrawing here. So he can sap that minion. And he could run in his... Well, he could run in his Leroy, for example. If you, if you run in your Leroy and go for Blade Flurry after that, you could attack him for 8. But you lose your Leroy potential. That hurts. Oh, he, if he gets a preparation now, that would be... Super, well, I wanted oh, to say... Oh, damn. If, Assassin's Blade and he just... Yeah, if if he had a preparation, he would he could have attacked and then Blade Flurry. That would be a hundred percent perfect. The thing is, like, he doesn't want to lose his Leroy. He wants to go for the finishing combo with him. That's yeah. Well, oh, Karen, you always Karen want is to. so useless in this matchup. Well, you can taunt him up, uh, especially because it, did uh. we see two saps? I'm I'm not entirely sure. We saw one, I think. This happens if you see three games Merkur row yeah, in exactly. a row. You kind of forget how many cards got played. I think it was only the the auctioneer. No, no, we saw two. He so he tossed up the Black Knight. Earlier. That's that's correct. So we saw two saps. You can go m with taunt next turn. You definitely you're 22 and it's turn 10 in. I think I would have played um, big game onto harvest and then throw down defender. Oh, but you want to get rid of the. Um, how is it called? Azur Drake. He still has the spell damage potential. So even with his, well, what uh, means even with his soundness additionally, he could deal those five, five damage. damage. Yeah, that's, true. that's crazy. But he didn't. Leroy. He didn't use. He didn't use his blade flurry yet, right? Or does no. he run two? There's that would be surprising. But some rogues are running two nowadays. Well, he can uh, definitely kill everything on the board. Just drop loot order as I seven assassins play. He cannot kill him. That would be Leroy Shadow Stab Leroy. It would only be with a weapon at the moment, 15, 15 damage. damage. That's quite well. Leroy Shadow said Leroy as I seven agent, so seventeen, 17. but still not enough. He needs to kill the enemy minion. But if you if the force of nature is coming for Mirari, he's Over. gonna win here just instantly. What you kind of need to do is play at attack with your weapon, and then just then just play the assassin's blade. Kill his minion like you did. That's the most damage you can do. And next turn you can do six damage with your weapon in total again. Well, even seven with a blight flurry at the moment on Salnus. Yeah, if Salnus stays alive. But we have the double taunt still. Well, not not anymore. Not no double taunt potential. But you you could you could go Cairn. So that would be a five six taunter, quite strong. Mm, then you would 
Salmus shouldn't stay alive. And then you need to taunt up your Harvest Golem, but he's only 4 HP. And it's still 4 HP. It's still 4 HP. If you heal up yourself, that's also a possible move. You gain 5, but you're open to Leroy. Risky. He has 7 damage on the board, so... Uh, uh, Leroy, Shadow Staff, Leroy, and then just... I don't know. Shiv, Cold Blood, Eviscerate. Basically anything. Pyromancer, whatever. Yeah, you just... Yeah, it hurts a lot. You, you need to kill Selnus, especially because of the Blade Flurry. So if he just triggers Blade Flurry, he kills your Harvest Golem, which is taunted, if you taunt it. And that's not enough. Well, heal healing is okay, but... Ooh, he needs to get Selnus. Yeah, he needs to kill Selnus. So playing the Harvest Golem gives him no advantage at all. That minion stays on the board, but he needs to survive longer, and next turn he can still play it, or just go Cairn plus. Okay, we got we got Leroy. Let, 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 oh, double Shadow Step. Well, well, that happens. Oh, that's it's over. It's 18 damage from Leroy, 3 from the weapon, that's 21 plus 24 plus Blade Flurry, that's... 27 damage. Yeah, exactly the damage he needs. So pretty lucky top deck from Faramir in the end. He needed that second Shadow Stab. Even with a Cold Blood, if I'm correct, he would be one damage short. That would have only been 24, uh, since we counted double Leroy Shadow Stab and we were on 27. Yep. Um, no, maybe it would have been four. I'm not sure. Maybe no, it would have been 25. Wouldn't be. But he just he just wins here with two damage too much, and Cold Blood would have been two damage too less. So a Cold Blood, and we're just starting the game to see what he has prepared for us. Go, gathering spectators, wiping off table. Yeah, someone someone didn't cut those files correctly. <laughs> Damn and it! I need to find the responsible person. That's Timo, I guess. And we see handlock. We see a handlock. You are correct in your prediction, sir. Well, he, but he's dropping the Twilight Drake. I'm kind of surprised by it. I would have kept That's the Twilight really Drake. That's really surprising. Like I I can understand it against I don't know shaman. But not against Rogue. Yeah, against Rogue it hurts, but he gets his Ancient Watcher plus the Taunter, so that's a good one. Also, well, Faramir has a wow. quite good hand, again. Mira Mirari's hand is great, in my opinion. Like, the, the only bad thing are the two Siphon Souls. You don't want to have them. But he's lucky that Faramir actually runs the version with the loot order. Well, he so he can make use of his mortal calls. Yeah, he gains he gains some cards. And the the super nice thing for him, and he has Ancient Watcher plus Taunt up, but now he could play Ancient Watcher silence it. And, and then, then it, taunt up. Yeah, if it gets sapped, he can still taunt it up. So he yeah, he is two times the option to do something with his Ancient of Watcher. And that's always good. Are we going to say well he sadly there is no enemy, so you cannot go crazy backstep mode as Faramir. You don't want to waste your coin. Yeah, you, you can just coin to get a 4-4, but against a handlock, that uh. just gets soul-fired, so no use at all. Well, he helps you. He brings himself down a bit. And if you get the burst combo early on, so turn 6, you can already do 12 damage with a preparation cold blood. You, or with a coin, you can do turn 6, already 16 damage. And if you have a weapon up, 17. And that's Well, that can come surprising on turn 6. And that's well, how far Mir really wants to win. And Mirari plays it smart. He uh, counted his cards, like his hand cards, a couple of times to see, okay, is there any way that I might lose cards? Nope, there isn't. Just place the Watcher because you don't need to taunt him up right now. There are no charge minions for the Rogue and if he attacks you with his weapon, it's fine, even if he deadly poisons it. So he has the Watcher out and can just immediately silence it or taunt it, like depending on the situation he's in. But now there's a 6-6 six, six Van Cleef, and you, you really don't want to double soul fire it. You can silence it. You can silence it, but then you cannot silence your own Watcher, and that, uh, that always hurts. The big advantage is he got a Shadow Flame. So if we see a Concealed Auctioneer, there will be some crazy Shadow Flame action. Yeah. So now, are we now seeing the famous Taunt Up Watcher? Not surprised. No. We have an Auctioneer. Auctioneer Backstab is a possible play. If well, if we had seen the preparation, I would have said that's a definite play. That's a must. Where you're going to see it now, maybe sh maybe shift the two three, 
play as a 7 agent, attack with your weapon the 2-1, and just, just have a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2 two, two out against the 4-5. I would throw out... I think I would throw out my Azure Drake. Mm -hmm. Use my backstab onto the Sun Fury and attack the Owl with my weapon. That's uh, that's Just also chill. possible. And the only good thing I like about my play, you draw well, you draw one card, but you draw as an Azure Drake one card. Yeah. To get also, but I I kind of want to use my Azure Drake with the Blade Flurry. So with the with the Poison Up Blade, I want to use it, but that's that's the only thing why I would maybe keep my Azure Drake. He actually goes for more play. Yeah, he likes he likes his wood rake better, and you can do two damage shift. So that the, that's the crazy thing is, thing. you have you have two damage shift. That's that's great, of course, and you also get a four four on out onto the board, which gives you control. Well, it might just die now to a soul fire. Yeah, but, uh, but then then you force first of all you force soul fire and another random card from the hand. So that's definitely worth. That's uh, definitely worth. I'm not I'm not gonna disagree with you there. Mm. Well, he loses a power oh, overwhelming. Oh, that's. That's harsh. Well, uh, you can you can deal with it. I mean, if you lose your shadow flame, you're way more screwed than than uh, power overwhelming. True, but As he already had power overwhelming and faceless on his hand. So on turn 10, 20 damage potentially incoming, and he can draw a lot. So like getting this Leroy is not the the biggest problem. Only if he's the last card in your deck, That's and then true. you're then you're just sad. This this always can happen. So he's not relying on a potential combo. He's just playing with what he has. And the most amazing thing here is just five damage weapon, and not only five damage weapon. Next turn, he could make it a seven and do fourteen damage in one turn alone with his weapon. And that's it's that's crazy. That's crazy. So your enemy is on twenty three HP, but they could melt quite fast. You seven damage next turn, if he wants to. But I would actually not do the the full damage I can. No. Maybe maybe well he healed him up. Now now I would if he would be on twenty one I would just do five bring him down to sixteen. But now with twenty four I would go for my seven damage blade, hundred person. But wait wait one more turn to go crazy blade flurry mode. Hmm. Just draw as many cards as you can now. So for example, auctioneer. Backstab, shift. Cold, deadly poison. Now I would even go. De uh, I would go shift. Well, or just go double, double as I seven agent plus <laughs> deadly poison. In the end, you get a lot of minions out. He wants to. You know, he doesn't. Yeah. Hmm. He brings him down, and this is super nice. He brings him down to seventeen, and next next turn is just deals fourteen damage if there's no taunter. And if there is a taunter, well, then it's only seven damage blade flurry. The smartest thing about the seventeen HP that you just said was. Just to explain it, he cannot play Molten Giant and the Sun Fury Protector or Defender of Argus. So there's no way there are really big taunts upcoming. The only thing, the biggest thing that could come is a Twilight Drake and we see he's going to throw him down. Well, there's a Twilight Drake, but that, that one has only 9 HP. So <laughs> a after Only 9 HP, guys. After Blade Flurry, it's, it's down to 2 and you can just kill it with one of your 3-3s three or double shiv it. So there are some options you actually have here. A Blight Fairy would bring him down to how much HP? Eight. To 8, and he has two three threes on the board. So he could bring him down to 2 in total. If he Blight Flurries, double shifts. Wait, and wait, 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 wait. Well, wait, if, wait. He, if he double shifts and draws an Eviscerate... No, 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 no. He has Lethal. He has Lethal if he double shifts the face. Yeah, oh, he, he, he could just attack with his weapon, the 4-9, four the four then go Blade. for a Blade Flurry, attack with both. That would be 13 damage plus double shift, 15. He was on 15, so you would die. Correct there, sir. That looks like the play you want to do. That's. But if he plays his Auctioneer, he cannot do it. No. So he, he can he can shift again the face. You, yeah, you now, were saying that. now he just realized it, I guess. Th and then he attacks the 4-9 with a Blade. Well, you, you're always going some blind mode. You don't want to damage. But as you say, you, you attack the face. And uh, you attack the minion, then you blade flurry, kill yeah. everything. Well, he even gets the eviscerate. I was I was talking about the eviscerate. So he doesn't need it. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't just need it. it. That's just, but it's perfect to actually have it. Well, what what what, what 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 can we say here? We saw four games Merkur <laughs> Rogue from Planet Key four times at one. Maybe this is going to be but the different.